My name is Bill Buchanan and I'm a professor in the School of Computing and I run the research group here. I also run the, the Cyber Academy. Our research is in really areas where we think we can make an impact, we can make a difference in people's lives. Uh, we do a lot in cyber security and health and social care. We also do a lot of in virtualised training which benefits our own students. Uh, and obviously we do a lot of work around cryptography, we like to break things, but we also like to, to fix them. Uh, my background is that I, I'm an engineer. Uh, I was an electrical engineer. I did electronics. I think I've got a very strong background in mathematics and formal methods, and I like science, and I like maths. I like maths now more than I've ever done in the past. I, I love crypto. Photography, I like coding, I like data analysis, in fact anything that's really interesting we, we, we'll do. So we, we like to have something interesting to work on, a big problem that we can focus on and sustain, set up partnerships uh, and really look to make a difference in people's lives. What I'm most passionate about is really investigating the, the limits of, of science, finding the the, the boundaries that need to be crossed, look ahead five, ten years and understand the current problems and how we can actually solve them with our research. So we, can, we look at big problems such as why is it so difficult for information to be shared across the health sector and into social care? How can we make sure that the citizen has control of their healthcare record? How can we protect the data? Uh, really looking at uh, problems around devices and, and, and cracking codes and, and so on. So basically anything that, that really interests us and that we can really uh, make a difference in people's lives. What we're focusing on is, is probably two main areas. Uh, information sharing, we think, is a, is a major issue just now in, in, in the, the lives of our citizens. We need to use data uh, much better and needs to be really focused on the citizen. Citizens need to have some control over the data and then health and social care professionals can really work effectively around them rather than individuals revolving around a health and social care infrastructure. So we're looking very much at the cyber security infrastructure of that, trust and governance and trying to make sure that the whole thing could actually work within cloud-based systems. Along with that, we're looking at uh, how we can protect devices. We're looking at uh, how devices can leak encryption keys because the Internet of Things is coming along and there'll be a whole lot more devices and we're worried that the cybersecurity infrastructure hasn't really been looked at yet. Uh, well, we think, uh, we think our research is, is highly relevant. Uh, just now, cryptography is, is one of those areas which some people think is, is amazing because it provides privacy and identity checking, but other people will say that it, it hides information that terrorists and, and criminals would, would want to use. So we would like to really sit quite independent to that, to provide uh, research which looks at, the, at the, the basic core methods, how we move away from the cryptography that we have just now that isn't quite working, and how we move towards things that are much more focused on preserving uh, privacy, uh, looking at not giving away your data, uh, but very much about how you would store data within cloud systems and still keep them secure. My concerns just now really is probably around the usage of, of data. So I think our, our new economy will be built around data, uh, data analysis, data capture, and things like cybersecurity, it's so important to capture data from lots of different elements and then fuse that data together to be able to understand well, where the threats actually are. In health and social care, increasingly you need to be using data uh, on, in all the different sectors of, of health and social care so that uh, healthcare professionals can look after you holistically rather than treating you for, for certain illnesses. I think as a business driver, data analytics is going to become so important. But on the flip side, you're dealing with people's data. Every single data element probably is owned by someone. So we're quite interested in understanding how data is brought together, how you can keep privacy, how you can uh, 
and not uh, merge data together into central databases, but to keep the data where it should be, and then to have a trust and governance infrastructure to be able to control the access to that data. Our, our future vision really is, is around a new health and social care infrastructure, looking at how cyber security can protect data, uh, because your healthcare record is probably worth much more than your, your credit card data. So this is highly sensitive information and we would really like to see uh, a, a much stronger framework architecture to be able to handle data and how it flows and certainly for citizens to have some control over their own data and also of their, their families uh, data. So I think when once we can do that we can actually start to look at the uh, uh, things like pre uh, preventing illnesses, detecting the early signs of uh, illnesses such as the work that uh, Adrian Smales is doing around the uh, frailty uh, application, trying to take data from the home, understand when something like a stroke is going to happen, uh, but you can't really have that type of infrastructure uh, without a strong cyber security uh, backbone uh, to look at uh, trust and governance and rights and, and encryption.